Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about bucket speed control options in the new 2019 software. I've hit enter is the same as pushing your button. Um, you'll see we got highlighted auto. Um, to use auto uh, is what it does, it increases dynamically your bucket correction speed as you pull towards you. So if you go into iDig Best and you have a problem with your bucket going too fast or slow, uh, you got page one and it's output five percentage. I got this one set at 45. Uh, depends what yours are. Small machines are usually around 16. Uh, no, no law to what it is. Uh, it just has to do with hydraulic flow. Um, it's a percentage of speed increase. Right here on the top of page number two, four of iDigBest um, uh, menu, you got auto and you go down and I'll show you how the auto works. As I move the dipper towards you, you can see the number increases, move it away, it decreases. Um, it's, it's, it's really cool how what it does. It's, uh, and I've got it set to 300 on this machine because this is my little model and it turns on a set of LED lights. So you might be at 3,500, 4,200, whatever. Um, whatever that number is, this is your minimum oil speed. That's where the bucket will actually from out here in will be that speed and then it'll start dynamically increasing as you get closer because you need more oil for your bucket to dump as you get closer. You can also move your joystick handle out for dump to increase the flow uh, to your machine. So back to the basics, let's say that's 3,000. Like I said, it's my model here is 300. It, I doubt you'll be much ever lower than 3,000 on any machine. Um, just, just a tidbit there. So at 3,000, um, if I want to see the bucket move, um, I can hold the F5, whatever one of these I highlight. So from uh, uh, curl speed, cold, hot oils, um, and, and uh, minimum oil, if I just hold down this button here, it will actually dump your bucket. This doesn't do it on this, it's not real, but it'll dump at a certain speed. Your bucket wants to dump at about this speed. Doesn't matter how big the machine is, it's about the speed it wants to dump. That is a good speed when you're warm. If you're too cold, Remember this speed right here, kind of give you an idea. That's that's a good setting of a speed, believe it or not. Works with all size machines. If you're cold, it'll dump faster. So if you're doing this in the in not cold engine temperature, cold hydraulic oil, it gets thinner or thicker. So at normal running speed, you want it at full throttle, dump it about the speed I showed you. You can just come in and correct this up or down to, to get to that speed. Uh, but you can always hold this down and you'll see it. If you curl your bucket up, you'll see it dump when you hold that button down. And you can highlight any of these, like I say. So if it's spinning too fast when you're working out there, just lower this number down. I go 200 at a time, so if it's 3,400, you'll be at 3,200. And you just hit enter, and it'll give you the menu, and you can just hit cancel and type 3,000, or the, let's say this is 3,000, or it would be 2,800. Usually you'll never get that low. Usually you're gonna be in the 3,000 to 4,000 range. Um, once you get it, you hit enter, and it'll put the new number in right here. So down arrow, highlight whichever one you want to do. In this case, you can highlight uh, this actually and pull it in and out, but um, this is your basic speeds. If your oil is really hot, you can put in a number higher than that to give you speed or really cold if you're running something like a uh, uh, piling driver or something or a, 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 a seawall uh, vibrating driver or something. Uh, this is so if you're on all the time, you just set one of these settings. That's why they're there and curl speed, that's coming back at you. So normal curl speed is about three or 400 higher than uh, your, your, your minimum oil speed, because it takes more oil to, to curl the bucket. So I hope that kind of makes sense to you guys. Uh, when you hit home, I can actually turn on, you can see with this machine, we have a little light on top right here. And I don't know if you can see it or not, oh, there it is. And as I go away, it gets, uh, brighter and there so you get brighter and it's hard to see blue in, a, in an iPhone but it's on there and it's getting brighter as I bring the bucket in that's that's showing the speed of that valve but I can obviously see with the iPhone it doesn't pick up that blue color so anyways that's about what there is to it kind of look at the video over and just understand you're changing the dynamic speed and this will be an auto you can change this to the medium speed and the slow speed those were the other settings um, fast you, you autos your uh, the one you guys want to be on so any uh, any problems just give me a call thanks